Compressor efficiency is the bottom line. And guys have said, I love this one. Why aren't you running a big centrifugal, you, you know, from those guys in the Midwest? That gives you a real good throttle response. Yeah, if you're staging at 6,500 RPM and the belt speeds up and the shaft speeds up on the compressor, but if you're driving this thing out of the hole in a boat or it's a, in a truck and you're starting to pull a trailer or it, you're coming off a turn in your race car and the RPMs are down, especially road racing, you got a belt-driven turbocharger. Why on earth would anyone do that? Not for throttle response. You've got supercharger leg. We, we ran that comparison years ago. Matched compressors, one driven by a turbine, a turbocharger, and one belt-driven, the turbocharger beat the supercharged setup from a roll, an idle roll where you just mat it on the same car. In other words, it was a Mustang with a small block Ford. And we tested on the same car, same piece of road, the whole thing. You get blower lag with centrifugal superchargers. They have a narrow sweet spot and so does a turbocharger.